All right. How do you pack a healthy school lunch? You know, one that your kids will actually eat. That, the one that doesn't come <laughs> home and you look at it and you go, what, why didn't you eat? Yes. Well, tonight, Brian New has our top five culinary ideas to share with you simple, time saving, A plus lunches. Whoever said breakfast was the most important meal of the day probably wasn't a third grader who was counting down the minutes until lunchtime. You don't have to be a master chef to know a school lunch can make your child's day. But it doesn't hurt to be one to know how to do it. The idea is to understand simple techniques um, that make things easier, faster, and more enjoyable. So with the guidance of Chef Steve DeShazzo, here's our top five school lunch tips. Number one, don't peel, cut an orange. First, um, cut off both ends of the orange. Why cut it, you ask? You can just cut around the orange. Because chefs will tell you it simply tastes better when it's cut. By cutting an orange just so, so that you get the finest part of the orange. And that means your kids are more likely to eat it. Number two, rubber band your apple. To keep apple slices from turning brown, some people will actually soak them in citrus juice. But we were shown an even easier solution. So after cutting up an apple, put it back together and hold it with a rubber band. It's that easy. Number three, freeze just about everything. Researchers from the University of Texas looked at more than 700 packed lunches of three and five-year-olds and discovered more than 90% of the perishable items inside were in what's known as the temperature danger zone. So from this research came the recommendation that not only should you include an ice pack in your child's lunch, but the night before you should freeze things like their yogurt, string cheese, along with their juice box, which will double as a second ice pack. Number four, make a big batch of sandwiches. To save time, instead of just making a single peanut butter and jelly sandwich, make 20 of them and then bag the extras. Experts say you can keep one of these in your freezer for up to six weeks. And when peanut butter and jelly won't do, here's our chef's special. Number five, make the perfect turkey sandwich. Let's start with two tablespoons of mayonnaise, a teaspoon of pesto, mix it up, and then spread it on both pieces of bread. And you just upped your flavor quotient on that sandwich in a very big way. Now comes the key. Take that tomato and lettuce, wrap them in a paper towel, and pack them separately. And that will preserve the quality of this lettuce and tomato instead of being inside the sandwich getting soggy. Voila, an A-plus sandwich for that all-important class, lunch. Brian New, CBS 11 News. My kid would look at that bag and go, no, dude. what was she no. thinking? No, no, don't get us wrong. We're, we like the Absolutely. ideas. But yeah. Let's talk reality for just one <laughs> second. Okay. The apple thing, that's cool. The I freezing like the thing deal. would definitely work. Right. Really good idea. I, I agree with Scotty said something during the freezing thing, though, and that is if you make 10 or 15 PBJs and then shove them in the freezer, man, I do not you know, I don't oh. want my kid to eat that a yeah. week, two weeks I think later. The you both used was soggy. soggy. Yeah, <laughs> the bread gets soggy and then it's not fun. They Love you, being new. New, but we're just we're, we're absorbing it like everybody out there. Yes. Good